So it's time for a new video. We will do this gunstock carving today. And uh, by special request I will explain the uh, purpose and use of the different chisels I have. So let's go. So first we will start with the use and uh, purpose of the different chisels. So we have different sizes of curved carving gouges where you have uh, the cutting edge or the bevel of the cutting edge on the outside. I don't have any with a uh, bevel on the inside but it's, that is... Uh, yeah, you can buy them as well. This one is for normal carving of profiles and for sure I use them for stepping or for stabbing the rim of the carvings and you get very much different curves and shapes with sockets and with tang uh, it's no matter if it has a socket or tang, uh, both will work properly. Then there's one very special thing, that's this chisel. That's a V-shaped chisel, very small. That's for marking rims or... Uh, for giving some very fine profiles and then there are different flat chisels like straight flat chisels where you have the uh, bevel on one side then uh, yeah, angled straight chisels with bevel on one side. These are mostly in gunstock carving to prepare the background, to flatten the background, uh, to get into uh, narrow spaces, to get a yeah more or less even background or for shaping. And you have straight carving gouges or chisels with a bevel on both sides uh, yeah it has the same purpose but you can use it from both sides the same way so the different shapes of handles you have this handles octagon with tang these are from uh, from Swiss from the brand file here you have an arrow on the blade and they are very good in quality you get them really scary uh, scary sharp that's a normal yeah carving gouge handle the octagon will make it really good to handle then I have some of this. I did them by myself on the lathe for small older carving chisels. They are for the uh, palm of the hand to hold them like, thi like this. Especially for fine working. Then uh, I have handles for the socketed chisels. I made a video about making them. They are working the same way you can drive them with a mallet or with a hammer. Really good in hand. You can use them like this or like this or here like this and drive them with a mallet. Yeah. 
and I made some very small ones like this also for palm, palm of the hand to be really close to the um, to the blade with one finger for guiding the chisel especially this one for very detailed work there are some other special chisels I don't have them uh, yeah because until now I don't need that didn't need them some like this also for driving with a hand not with a with a mullet yeah that's more or less most of the chisels or most of the styles of chisels I have straight chisels with one side bevel as well in white the very, very narrow curve with a very flat curve and it's good to have a lot of profiles so you can step with the chisel any profile on the gun stock that you have otherwise you will take a very small chisel and that's yeah much more work so I show you the variety of chisels on my desk so this is the complete variety of chisels I have right now. It's about 5, 10, 20, oh, 5, 10, 15, 20, about 25 pieces. So, and I have for sure some uh, chisels for carpentry. So, the variety is relatively big. If you start carving, you just need about three or five pieces with the, yeah, I would say, with the most used profiles. You get sets of that already. Uh, complete sets with five different pieces of the yeah I would say of the uh, of the most used curved chisel stuff like that so let's start first we will stabbing the rim of the carving with a ch uh, carving couch
So that's all for the stabbing. And the next step is to uh, equalize the background. So for the carving of the background I use a flat chisel. Sometimes I use a slightly curved chisel as well. And then let's go. Here I have to take the background from the opposite side because the grain is running like this and that makes it really difficult so I have to turn around.
So, like you can see, that was the carving for the opposite side. And this is the carving for this side. So, and to my opinion it looks pretty nice So, next job will be the uh, this gunstock carving and that will be a little bit more competitive than this one. So we go up step by step. So I've done the first fine grinding. This is the result. Some cleaning of the carving. And the next job will be this one. And I add a little bit more character here, but just a little point. That is the result for now. So, until next time.